Out with the old and in with the new. Verizon, AT&T, they're moving forward with plans to launch a new 5G wireless service. That means faster connections, but it also means the old 3G network will no longer work. It's a new year, but if you have an old phone, you may be forced to upgrade in 2022. So once that spectrum, once the 3G network is shut down, those devices will no longer work. Major mobile carriers will be turning off the nozzle of 3G in the new year, rendering the old phones useless. In order to make room on the wireless spectrum, we need an opportunity to, uh, to have spectrum that we can use. This tech baton passing has happened before. When cell phones first came out, I'm talking a couple decades ago, that was 1G. Then we got texting with 2G, we got data with 3G, we got fast speeds with 4G, you know, streaming video, and with 5G, we've got the crazy new technologies that are coming for the future. Those crazy new technologies coming in the future can't have 3G slowing them down. Think about it like lanes on a highway, right? So if we've got a finite number of lanes, let's call it 10 lanes on the highway. If four lanes of that highway are taken up right now by 3G technology, but not a lot of people have those devices, we could get rid of those lanes and then reuse them for 5G and 4G technologies. Of the major carriers, AT&T will shut down its 3G network in February. T-Mobile, who merged with Sprint, will shut 3G off on Sprint's network March 31st and on theirs July 1st. Verizon is the last one to shut off on New Year's Eve 2022. Yeah, so if you've got a 3G phone, come to one of our stores, talk to one of our reps right now. There are plenty of devices, 4G devices right now that you could take advantage of, including some basic phones. So if you love the flip phone factor, those basic phones, we still have those. While it's concerning to think that your phone may stop working or that other pieces of decade-old technology may also be affected by this, Steve says that it's only a minuscule amount of people that will be impacted. Fewer than 1% of our customers currently have a 3G device in their possession. And I mean, unless you've got a device that is, I mean, it's got to be almost 10 years old at this point um, to have been a, ba a basic phone that's only 3G. Um, if you see that 4G icon in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, or if you see 3 LTE, that means you're good. You don't have to worry about it. Guys, this is both confusing and not confusing. Now, some carriers uh, do exist out there that were not listed in that report. Uh, odds are that those carriers, however, still use AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon's network, and that means that they will be uh, impacted. You should contact your carrier or look online to find out more info. The bottom line is this. If you look at your phone, uh, and in the upper right-hand corner, you Let's see a, a little 4G, or you see LTE. That's what if just, I don't see either? You probably have a wire, a Wi-Fi signal there. Yes. Uh, when you disconnect from Wi-Fi, one of those two wor uh, uh. will pop up. It'll say 4G or LTE. If you see that, you're fine. You don't have to do anything. Uh, but if it only is a 3G phone, by, which, by the way, you had to have gotten like 10 years ago, you will be affected. Most people will not. 99 out of 100 people will not be affected by this.